Therefore, as God's chosen people, holy and dearly loved, clothe yourselves with compassion, kindness, humility, gentleness, and patience. Colossians 3.12 Hello my beautiful sunflowers, welcome to my channel. My name is Ambrielle and you are watching Unbelievable. If you are new to my channel, welcome and don't forget to subscribe and to hit that like button and comment below on any other videos that you want to see from me. So today I'm going to be trying some new food and y'all know I love food. And it's going to be similar to my daily harvest review video. Daily harvest was like, you know, smoothies and vegan and vegetable and grass and stuff like that but this is like real but this is like real like chicken steak turkey all that hearty foods meals rather than getting some smoothies and you know all that healthy stuff we love being healthy don't get me wrong but we still like to eat we still want real food am i right i think i'm right i got six meals and i will be trying them out and letting y'all know my honest opinion okay. Ugh, this is a really heavy box I'm hoping that this packaging is like easier to open the daily harvest one. If you have a call, I had some oopsies with that. But let's see. Okay, so when you first open your box, it has a big block of dry ice. At least that dry ice is nicely packaged. Oh, and you can actually, I love this because you can reuse this. So as soon as you open the box, it says throw in your freezer as an ice pack and you can recycle and reduce freezing. So these are very cold. It took about a day or two for it to arrive. I ordered this on Sunday. It's Thursday, but it got shipped out yesterday. So about 24 hours and it's still very cold. So I will say that the dry ice keeps your food cold so you don't have to worry about it getting hot before it gets to your door. Day one, first meal is the oven baked chicken florentine with cream, spinach, and parmesan. So in terms of the nutrition facts on the back, Here's a quick look. It's 440, 440 calories, 760 milligrams of sodium. It's kind of high in sodium. 36 grams of protein though, and only seven grams of sugar and five grams of fiber with 15 grams of carbs. So remember, if you are on keto, you subtract the grams of fiber from the carbs to get your net carbs. And it says that it's actually keto-ish. I think that's hilarious. <laughs> Keto-ish, so if you're tracking your meals, this QR code is very helpful for you to just scan it and it is and put it inside of your app. So let's see what it tastes like. Nice big piece of chicken breast with some cream spinach. I feel like there should have been more vegetables though. You know, like I was expecting a little bit more than this because you see this, <laughs> the package, and it's like you get that. Expectation reality but maybe it'll taste better than it looks so let's get into it you can really smell and taste that it's fresher than frozen foods because it just looks like it just looks like something like i i would have packaged and heated up this is what my meal prep food looks like let's taste it it's actually pretty good actually really good like this chicken is actually seasoned it's not dry it's actually really juicy Honestly, it's a little salty for my taste in particular. Like I love seasoned flavorful food, of course, but I can definitely taste the salt. It's good. Mm -hmm. Freshly, you already your thing with this one. Let me try the vegetable. Vegetables are good. The vegetables aren't like really season yeah it's just like how you would expect eggplant and zucchini and mushrooms to taste i think it could add more vegetables like the portion size was a little small for my liking but it's oven baked chicken florentine i will give it a four out of five stars i think it's really good it's something i'll actually eat again so first meal is a go so it is day two and i'm about to try the steak peppercorn with sauteed carrots and french green beans i think this will probably be my favorite because I'm a big fan of steak. I love steak. And they say that this one is a protein powerhouse and steakhouse inspired. Just some quick 
nutrition facts it is 500 calories and it has 37 grams of carbs 29 grams of protein 680 milligrams of sodium it's kind of a lot and only seven grams of sugar this is what it looks like fresh out the microwave You actually have to peel a corner to vent the meal while you're cooking it. That's what it looks like. I got some water on my desk. That's what it looks like. It does look like your typical um, TV dinner. But it smells really good. Like It doesn't smell like a frozen TV dinner. You can tell the steak is actually fresh because it's not like, it doesn't have like that frostbite on it type of situation it doesn't look dry it looks pretty juicy and there's mashed potatoes under this with like a cream sauce and then you have like your vegetables so let's dig in yeah the steak is actually pretty tender i was able to just put my fork in there and get a piece out like it it's missing something not salt maybe pepper onions maybe I don't know it's missing something I can't put my finger on it but it's missing a little something so the vegetables this is good it's standard green beans and carrots nothing too special it's a sauce the sauce just isn't doing it for me the potatoes are good. The steak is cooked well. It's, the steak isn't seasoned either. I feel like they were let on the sauce to season the steak. Overall, I will give this dish. I was expecting to give it a five out of five because I was excited for it, but actually, I give it more of like a like a three and a half out of five. It's something I really could have made myself, but better. But it's it's good. I'd eat it again just you know wouldn't be something i'd be like oh my gosh i gotta have it you know it was okay three and a half so today we have the chicken stew it smells really good y'all it smells very delicious we have some black beans monterey jack cheese um chicken of course here are the nutrition facts only three grams of sugar, that's good. 27 grams of carbs, but 900 milligrams of sodium. That's kind of high, if you ask me. These are the ingredients, um, rice and beans. A lot of the same ingredients you would find in a chili. So go ahead and try the chipotle chicken stew. I just showed y'all what it looks like, but for a comparison of like my head, the stew is a pretty big bowl. This is a much bigger serving size than the last two items I ate. But this is day three, I'm gonna go ahead and try it. And it smells really good, so let's see what it tastes like. <laughs> Wowzers. Wait a minute. This is really good. It's like chili, but not too tomatoey. It tastes like a creamy, cheesy, chicken soup almost chili it is really good so far this is the best thing i've had and it's a pretty decent sized portion like i would definitely be full after eating this so this gets five stars for me mm. you know what's good when you keep looking at the um packaging the ingredients because you just gotta see what's in this Mm. The carp swap kali sausage bag. It has cauliflower instead of pasta and some sausage and some tomatoes and different types of vegetables. It smells delicious. I'm gonna try it and let y'all know how this tastes. But we're gonna be trying this carp swap kali sausage bag, and some of the ingredients include cauliflower shakashuka sauce not sure what that is it has a bunch of tomatoes and spices in it um sea salt paprika parmesan cheese sauce and things like that the sodium in this y'all is staggering you see that over a thousand milligrams of sodium in it 
that's the one thing I do not like about their meals. They have a lot of sodium. Thankfully, I only eat one of these a day, so. This is actually part of their Freshly Fit line. This is supposed to be like a healthier version of their meals. Uh, I'm surprised because reading these nutrition facts, I don't really think it's a lot healthier than the other ones that I've had. But this is supposed to be considered, I believe it's kind of keto. It doesn't stand on here, but it's kind of keto. Um, it smells delicious. This definitely smells like something my mom will be cooking in the kitchen. And it just smells really home cooked. It doesn't smell like a frozen meal you got out of the freezer that's been sitting there for forever and has freezer room in it. So let's go ahead and try it. And I might have to do something with this because. It's really good. I would give this one. It's not my favorite so far. The favorite one I've had was the chicken stew that I had yesterday. But this one would be like a nice, like a four and a four point five. I give it four point five out of five stars. Yeah. Please excuse how I look today. It is just one of those days. But we are trying meal number five, and that is the salsa verde pork bowl. In this, we have um, fire roasted peppers, cauliflower. Lots of chilies, things of that nature. I also noticed that the use by date for this was May 30th. And it is May, it is June the 3rd. So I am eating this four days after it suggested use by date. And it didn't say expired, it says use by. So this is just like a suggestion when you should use it by, not necessarily when it's like spoiled, I think. That's what I learned a long time ago that like grocery stores will give you a use by date because that's when they want you to buy it by me. So some nutrition facts, there's only 250 calories in this and that's really good um, for a meal. It's like half the calorie amount for the other ones I've had before this one. Um, only 9 grams of fat, only 530 milligrams sodium. That's a lot less than what we had yesterday. 19 grams of carbs, only 8 grams of sugar, and 26 grams of protein. So it actually, it actually is pretty healthy. I think this one is probably one of the healthiest ones I've had so far. I try not to eat pork. I'm not really a big pork fan. I don't really eat too much. I just wanted to try this just so I could have some variety in the meals that I got. Not the most appetizing looking. It didn't smell the best either. It just, I don't know. I'm not really excited about this, but... Let's just try it. I don't know what I was expecting it to taste like, but that is not it. Mm. I don't like the way this pork tastes. The peppers, I like. I'm just not gonna eat the pork in this. I'm just gonna literally just pick the pork out and just eat the peppers. Honestly, I don't even think I'm gonna eat the whole thing. But this is this is nasty. Freshly, y'all had me all up until this one. All the other ones are pretty good, but this one right here, it's a no for me, dog. It's a no. It's definitely a no for me, dog. Maybe, maybe, maybe it's because I am eating it after the suggested use by date. Maybe that's why. That's what we're gonna go with. That's what we're gonna go with. It tastes exactly how it looks. Put it to you like that. You look at this and you're like, that don't look good. It don't. It don't taste good. I'm giving this pork bowl um, zero stars. Actually, I'm giving this pork bowl one star because it is healthy and the nutrition effects are good, but it did not taste good. It was nasty, so it's going in the trash. All right, so here we have the zoodles and turkey meatballs. These are roasted veggies. It's like a bell pepper, one little bell pepper, red peppers, and you have some cauliflower with some different like herbs. And then you have the kale pesto with the zoodles, which is just zucchini noodles, and then some turkey meatballs. This doesn't necessarily look the most um, appetizing, but it smells good. It actually does smell really good. And if you are hearing some barking, that is Luna. 570 calories 
39 grams of fat, 750 milligrams of sodium, 22 grams of carbs, but 37 grams of protein and only 7 grams of sugar. So I've noticed that their food is pretty low in sugar, which is good. Pretty high in protein, which is good, but it's also kind of high in carbs. Then it's another one of those, please don't judge me on my outward appearance days. Um, judge me on food, because it's another one of those hat things. The portion size of this is better than the last few dishes we had, because the last because the last few ones that I've had were really tiny and did not fill me up. Well, they did fill me up. I had to just like eat it and not think about being hungry for a minute. And then I was full, but they were really small portion sizes. Let's go ahead and try the turkey zoodles and meatballs. I don't dislike it, but I don't love it. Like it's something I could eat and be okay with. Turkey meatballs definitely need a little more seasoning because they're a little, you know, unflavored. Let's try the vegetables now. Mm, these are actually really good. Oh my god. I was not expecting to like these vegetables, but they're actually like really seasoned and it actually tastes really good. And they have a nice like, like um, oh these are sunflower. Are these sunflower seeds? I don't know. It has like a nice like nutty taste to them meatballs because they're not as seasoned as I would prefer them to be so I need to go add some tony saturated to these meatballs but the pesto sauce is really good the zoodles are cooked nicely and so yeah everything is actually really good except for the meatballs in my opinion it's because the meatballs just aren't seasoned so I'm not liking but I will give this a four and I believe this is the last meal that I've had in the box so I will give my overall opinion and review of the entire order I had and tell y'all my pros and cons of freshly Pro number one, the QR codes on the packaging were very helpful to use when tracking my meals in my Fitness Pal app. Number two, all of my meals are low calories. The highest calorie meal I had was only 570 calories, and this is really beneficial if you are in a caloric deficit. All of the meals were very high in protein with at least 20 grams, and according to sclhealth.org, the average man should eat 56 grams of protein, while the average woman should eat about 46 grams of protein. So if you eat two of these meals in a day, you will hit your goal. Pro number three is that all ingredients are natural and every meal is free of additives and preservatives and GMOs. So this also means that they will expire in about three or four days after receiving them if you store them in your fridge, but if you want them to last a little bit longer, you may want to freeze them. Which leads me into pro number four, all of the meals are fresh, not frozen which really made the foods taste and look a lot better, except for the pork roll. And pro number five is that the meals are convenient and easy to order. As someone who loves cooking but doesn't always have the time, I found it super convenient and helpful to just go in my fridge and heat up a meal that I knew was pretty healthy and was fresh. And it was also really easy to order. The website had a huge variety of foods to choose from and everything got delivered within about three days after ordering. Now let's get into the cons. Number one is that the foods are pricey without a discount. I was able to get $30 off my first meal for a total of $45.94. But if I did not use that $30 off coupon code, those six meals would have costed $74.83. Con number two is that the foods were pretty high in sodium. Each meal averaged about 850 milligrams, and the average American should have no more than 2,300 milligrams of sodium a day. So if you ate three of these freshly meals a day, on average, you will be consuming about 2,550 milligrams of sodium, which is definitely over the maximum amount that the CDC suggests that you intake a day. My last con is that this is a subscription service, which means that if you do not stay on top of your plan, you will get billed weekly. However, you do have the option to skip a week or multiple weeks, and you do have the option to also select the amount of meals that you get in each box. If you are interested in trying Freshly Out, I definitely suggest using my referral link in the description box to get $90 off your first three boxes. Well, that's all folks. I hope you guys enjoyed this very detailed review of Freshly. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, to like, and to comment below with any other meal services you'd like me to try out. And remember that you can do anything that you put your mind to. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in my next video.